Paris Planet over here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to solve first layer on a Rubik's Cube. So, um, most people, uh, when I've been carrying this around and just using it as a fidget tool, they think like, whoa. That's crazy, and like, how do you do that? And like, what's the trick? And a bunch of stuff like that. And there is also a very large response. For some reason, like, this has just like come up with everyone that sees, with everyone that sees a Rubik's Cube, and that is, <laughs> it's just an algorithm, right? And no, it's not at all. Oh, so maybe, maybe a little bit, okay? Maybe the last layer, but that is the easiest layer. So for most people, they solve white side first, yellow side last, um, but like speed cubers and stuff like that, um, they're able to solve it, like they, they just solve it whatever side would be fastest, and then, yeah, so uh, I've, I, I have like gotten a couple of methods of how to do this, but over time you'll get faster and faster, so far, I've only gotten a sub minute solve like 20 times, but I'm not I'm not using F2L. Uh, but I'm gonna teach you how to do uh, first layer on a Rubik's cube and not have to use algorithms. So this is just gonna be the first layer video. There will be other videos coming out about uh, second and third layer. Um, second layer will be next, and then third layer will be last. And uh, the second layer won't just be like a couple of moves like teaching how to do that. It'll be a little more. So um, let's get this cube scrambled up and uh, try to explain uh, that it's not an algorithm. I mean, at the end, at the very, very end it is. But um, there are layers to the cube. First thing you have to know, layers. It's not, it's not, it's not, this this is not one side one side solve. This it's just not okay. I don't know why everyone thinks this, but this So this is not one side solved. This is this is the stickers on the top that just happen to be aligned in the correct area, but they're not in the right spots because the way Rubik's Cube works is they're pieces. You have your edges and your corners and your centers. So your centers will always stay in the same pattern. Your edges will always be on edges. These stickers on your edges will always stay where they are and your corners will always be corners. So. Um, this is not solved by any means because when you solve a side, you need to solve a layer. So one layer would mean all three of these stickers on the first layer's corner are in the right spot. So that means that means that this corner would be here because it matches with that uh, center. That that is a very widely misconcepted thing that people do not understand and a solved a solved side would look a lot a lot more real if you have uh, it, it, it's not a solved side unless you have the first layer solved so so a solved side um is this this is a soft side all right so all of the edges and corners match up with their proper centers that align and that 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 is a big part of solving it you would not believe how many people uh do not understand that and it is a very very simple thing and so i'm going to teach you how to solve that because it's it's extremely, extremely easy. Uh, I'm going to teach you a couple ways, the fast way and the beginning way. Um, so the, the fast way, the really, really fast way is F2L, which is first two layers, where you're solving this layer and this layer at the same time. And it's really not that hard, I promise. But uh, you do have to know algorithms for it. And I don't want to um, spring algorithms on any beginners. So let's, let's just do the basics, all right? So let's find our edges. So this is an edge, and it fits with the green. The green is right here. Let's just put it over there. 
say we had a little more of a complicated situation where it was flipped upside down and it was like this. This piece needs to go right here, but oh no, it, it doesn't it doesn't go up. It doesn't uh, at all. So that means that means so if this piece is right here, put it down, put it up, bring it over. Look at that. It's solved. Uh, so you just do that for each one of your edges. So for this edge, it's blue and white. So let's find the blue side. This is the blue and white. So let's let's learn the different method that you're gonna use for your corners, which is inserting it. So pull that edge away, keep it nice and safe in this area, bring that piece down in the center, and then put it back in. That is gonna be your ticket to win. So that is, that is how you're gonna be able to solve these layers. Um, and so, you won't mess anything else up, uh, at least for the first layer. And so as it goes further and further, you'll notice this is an orange and white piece. Let's get it to the orange and a white area. So that'd be right here is where it needs to go. Uh, so instead of, instead of doing the inserting way, let's bring it away up around and then back down and then that re reorients the cube, uh, kind of reorients that piece. Um, so that it works a little better. Um, now let's let's take this piece. This is nice and easy because it's it's facing down and the white is up here. So let's just bring it over to its side, which is right here, and then do a 180 degree turn, and then you have all four of your top layers, and then you have your white cross. White cross is important and probably something that takes, mo this is probably what takes people the most time on a solve. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory and something that you can get mus muscle memory a lot faster with. So, um, corners, let's do corners. So corners are, you, only, you pretty much only use the inserting method with this. So you pull it away, bring it down, put it in, bring it back up. Uh, if that doesn't make any sense, say, let's bring your corner right here. Um, it would need to go right here because it's got um, blue and orange, or blue, yeah, blue and orange. And so let's bring it away from the spot it needs to go in, bring that down, and then put it back up, and it's in. So let's do that for all of them. Uh, say, say you already have a corner in, but it's in the wrong spot. You just pretty much do the opposite, except you don't have to tuck anything away. Uh, now, now you can, now you have this area. This is, this is where this piece needs to go. So let's pull it away, and we're not pulling it this way because then if we did that, then that piece would be up here and that's no good. So we need to pull it this way so that it doesn't get moved by this layer. And then we put it back in and bring it back up. And that is going to be how you solve all of your corners. So let's, let's say um, you have an oddly oriented piece maybe. Uh, like this, yeah, okay. So let's say it's like this. Uh, it needs to go here. Well, this is even easier because you could just go, well, it's not even easier in this case, but in a lot of cases you could just go that and then it, it's put in, and, but, but it doesn't work like this and this one. Uh, so you bring this down and so you notice this piece is right here and you wanna, you wanna reorient it so, so that you can put it back in. So let's bring this down and then your piece is down over here and you can do that, and then this, and then, and then it's just really easy by just doing that. And um, now you can just move it away from your spot, put it in. And now your last piece, that's pretty much all the situations I can think of for a three by three um, first layer solve. And that's pretty easy, I mean, uh, that's probably, that's, that's a really big step. Um, just even if you don't know the rest of it yet, I, if you have a 3x3 Rubik's Cube just laying around somewhere, um, definitely try this. Uh, just try messing around with it, getting better and better at it, kind of um, using these methods that I just told you about uh, to, to get better at this solving. So, yeah guys, that's pretty much this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also please share with your friends because, you know, sharing is caring.